All right, now for today's video, I'm gonna be starting in the back of the circle and you're gonna be like the official out there in the landing area who's gonna be marking the throw. So the next big issue that we see with a lot of discus throwers, specifically discus throwers, is that they lead too much with their left arm out of the back. Now maybe this is like yesterday's video where they're just trying to move the discus, they're afraid they're gonna drop it, whatever it is, but we see that a lot of our athletes are leading too much with that left arm. Here's what it looks like. So you get set up in the back of the circle, everything's looking good. They pull that discus back one time and you can see what happens. My feet are facing forward toward 12 o'clock and now I start to rotate back. Now that discus is really far behind me. That left arm is in front of me. I've got great separation. And then out of the back, they start to pull that left arm around and they look like that Rolls Royce symbol. Now I've never been in a Rolls Royce before. I've maybe seen one on the street once or twice but I know what that logo looks like. It's the angel flying with their arms behind them. And that's what your athletes look like when they come out of the back of the circle. They're leading chest first. They're unwinding, they're pulling that left arm around and now they're coming through the circle with both of their arms behind them. So they're whipping that left arm around, they're spinning themselves around out of the back of the circle and they're landing wide open in the middle and then that continues to be here where they're landing wide open in the power position. They've got to control that left arm. They're letting that left arm whip them around. And most of the time it's because they think they've got to get the discus going. So they start to yank that arm around and then they have both hands and both arms behind their back as they're driving out of that circle. All right, so the cue that I like to use is I want their left arm to stay above their left thigh. I really don't want to see, in some throwers they can get away with it, more experienced throwers, throwers that have been high level elite throwers, they can start to open that left arm beyond. But for newer throwers, high school throwers, I really want to see that they keep that left arm above that left thigh. I don't want them to whip that left arm around. All right, so here's what we're going to work on. We want to see that when they turn out of the back of the circle that they keep that left arm equal with their left thigh. So as they pull that arm back, I want to see the left thigh turn with the left arm. And then as they pivot out of the back, I'd like to see that left arm stay right on top of their left thigh. When they drive through the middle, that's when we're gonna stop that left arm over at three o'clock. So we're driving through the middle, we're gonna stop that left arm here at three o'clock, which is gonna allow them to wind up and get in a better power position. So you gotta think of it almost like a, ma a marionette, almost like a puppet, where as that left arm moves, it's gonna stay on top of that left thigh. 